Have you ever wondered why can a bat see inside a dark cave even when their eyes are shut? They can navigate at incredible speeds. This is because a bat's fly is guided by its ears, so they can see with their ears. We can do it too. Do you know how? Stick to the end to find out how you can see with your ears. Hi there, I'm Farida. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back. We are all familiar with sound. It helps us to communicate and listen. Sound is created when molecules in air, water, anything start vibrating. The distance between each peak and the wave is called the wave frequency. All vibrations have a frequency. Frequency is a measure of how often something vibrates per second. The unit of frequency is hertz, the official symbol being H. And Z, a capital H and a small Z. The human ear can hear between the frequency of 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz, so sound is vibration in this frequency range. The human ear cannot hear below 20 Hz, and the frequency below is called infrasound. Elephants can use infrasound and use it to communicate jokes that they don't want humans to hear. The human ear cannot hear above 20,000 Hz. Frequency above 20,000 Hz all called ultrasound. Bats use ultrasounds to locate foods. And dolphins use it to communicate with their friends. Bats are gifted with a system of locating things with sound. This guy can make and hear this high frequency sound. When it's dark, the bat produces an ultrasound wave. It hits the nearby surface and bounces back. The direction from where the sound returns tells it where it's the direction of the object. The time taken for the sound wave to reach the object and return back to the bat's ears it tells it how far it is. The longer the sound waves take to return, the further away the object is. The sound that comes back is an echo that carries a lot of information and creates a map of the environment around. So wouldn't it be incredible if we could see the sound just like the bat? This is when ultrasonography or sonography stepped in the medical imaging. It's a non-invasive imaging test to see inside a patient's body with no radiation like the x-ray. It's used to evaluate organs, measure tissue thickness, and detect gallbladder stones, tumor, and cyst, or etc. To use ultrasound to find things, we first need to have a way of generating the ultrasound. We need something to create waves that will travel inside the tissue of the patient. This handpiece is called a transducer. It's placed against the body. The transducer sends a sound inside the body and receives the echo back from the body, just like the bat. And then the computer can use those sounds and build up an image. So let's talk about it in details. The transducer contains a special material called a piezoelectric crystal. This material has a very special property. When a voltage is applied to an piezoelectric crystal, it expands. When the voltage is removed, it contracts back into its original thickness. This shape changing produces waves that penetrate inside the body. Air is the enemy of ultrasound. Ultrasound waves tend to reflect strongly wherever air meets the biological tissue. If there is even a small air bubble between the probe or the transducer and the skin, the ultrasound waves will be reflected away instead of penetrating the skin. Without the waves going into the patient, you won't be able to get an image. Therefore, it's absolutely vital to make sure that there is no air bubbles between the probe and the skin of the patient. On the other hand, some of the ultrasound waves are attenuated. That is, the body absorbs the ultrasound energy, making the waves to disappear. These waves don't return to the transducer and are therefore wasted, and you don't have any other image. The more body tissue that the ultrasound waves have to cross, the more attenuation the waves suffer. 
This is one reason why it is more difficult to image deeper structures. So what should we do? Ultrasound travels very easily through liquids. For this reason, it is common to use a thick liquid jelly or conductive gel between the probe and the patient's skin. The thick liquid helps to make a tight seal between the body and the transducer and allows easy passage of the ultrasound waves. The waves bounced off from the tissue is received by the piezoelectrical crystals. So it receives the ultrasound waves reflected from the tissue, it gets compressed and produce electrical signals. The electrical signals is received by the computer and it builds up a black and white image on the monitor. An ultrasound picture is called a sonogram. If you want to know what happens to the waves inside the body, check out my next video. So click on the bell for getting the notifications for in my next videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing my videos for growing this channel and helping others out. See you on Instagram.